Great morning, great morning, great morning, Wealth Warriors. We are so glad to have you aboard with us this morning. Topic of conversation, I'm going to cut right to the chase. When do I file my taxes? I hope that that grabbed your attention quickly because that is a heavy duty topic. Now, most people would say, well, why is it such a heavy duty topic, Brent? That's because we do not think about when we file our taxes. So that's why we're doing today's show. And by the way, today's show is a short show. It's called an SNS short show. Why? Because the topic is so poignant, it's cutting right to the chase. We're not letting anything else into V or we're not bringing in anybody to interview. I want you to grab this information right fast and run with the ball. Is that okay? Excellent. I'd like to introduce our co-host, of course, you know her very well. And by the way, I am excited because she has decided that she is going to show our, our program live today. She hails out of the great state of Ohio, none other than Pamela Stone. Pamela, say hello. Welcome everyone to today's show. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome Wealth Warriors. And welcome the Clutter community. I'm so glad and so excited. Brent, I was I had to had to throw this out here. First of all, I hope you feel better and get better soon. And everybody, this is gonna we're gonna start doing this live. So you'll get to see it here. Here. So this is so cool. We're starting something new, so we're testing this out. So forgive me if there's a little bumps and bumps on the way, but as we hit bumps, as you know, we're going to grow to get bigger and better. But welcome, everyone. Grab your paper and your pen, because guess what? It's going to be quick and short. Come on in. Sit down. Oh, wait a minute. Let me real quick, before I forget, anyone who is new and want to know, how can I join Wealth Warriors? It is so simple. All you do is go out to Wealth Warriors. Say, I want to get a welcome message from Brent and or I. And you just come into the community and you watch us here. That's it. Any messages or anything you want to say to us, we will respond back to you. But without further ado, I'll hand it back to you, Miss Brent. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And by next week, I will be both streaming live out to a broad community and as well as inside the Wealth Warriors, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and we'll post some pictures on Instagram. I think I covered them all, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, today's early risers, the number one early riser acknowledgement goes to none other than Robin Tennille. I mean, she was on it as soon as it said rise, she said, bing, bing, Brent, I am here. So I want to give an acknowledgement out to her. Also want to acknowledge Debbie Vars, who is our viewing coordinator. Ron Bell, thank you all very much. And I want to welcome a new member to our, uh, to our family, to our community. And that is Charles Lee hailing out of Boston, Massachusetts. So I think I've hit oh, acknowledgement. Yay! Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So now let's get into the meat of the conversation. Why? When do I file my taxes? This question is very important for entrepreneurs, for small business owners and entrepreneurs. Now, you hear me focus a great deal on the entrepreneur because I do believe that we all should be entrepreneurs. We have got to have entrepreneurship as one of the staples in our cadre of business, in our empire, in the legacy that we pass on to the next generation, we've got to have entrepreneurship. We've got to have business ownership. Now, I'm going to say that there are various structures of business ownership. At its antithesis is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship can be solo, and it generally is. Entrepreneurship can be a business, um, a business opportunity in which you are still a singular. However, you are surrounded by other independent contractors. That is the antithesis of wealth is business ownership. We move from there into real estate. Why? Because we are not going to get any more earth. There's no more earth to create. And a prime example of that is Martha's Vineyard here in Massachusetts. 
Why? Because it's built. There isn't anything else. Any other land is land that's owned by individuals who have decided not to sell it or build on it. Or you've got conservation land, you've got protected land. But as far as building is concerned, if it isn't built, it's already owned and that person isn't selling it or they're waiting to the highest bidder. Another area, Nantucket in Massachusetts, prime examples of the real estate. So it has no place to go but up. If you want that real estate and you are really want it and you're willing to pay for it, that's part of the antithesis or the baseline of ownership, the baseline of wealth. So let me roll back to when do I file my taxes? I'm going to submit to you that you're not going to be in the January generation of filing our taxes. Hold up, Brent. Before I even say any more, please allow me to put forth a disclaimer. I am not a tax professional. I am not a tax preparer. I am an observer, a tax observer. That is the role that I am going to play. Now, why am I then saying, when do I file my taxes? I'm going to say you're not in the herd of January filers. I'm going to share with you that you are in the second and third generation. And what does that mean? You're in the filers that are the late, the mid to late February moving into March. Why? It's a great question. Pamela, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but just off the top of your head and even as an observer, why would you think that the middle to the end of February into March is a great time for entrepreneurs to file taxes. And if you say, hey, Brent, I'm throwing that ball back to you, that's okay. But I'm gonna ask you to give me your thought regarding this. Honestly. Honestly. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm catching, are you saying I'm catching you off guard? You're saying, Brent, answer the oh, daggone no. question. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do just that. The reason that I'm saying this is because as entrepreneurs, as wealth builders, as aspiring millionaires, if that's what you choose to be, we need to stop and think. I wasn't frozen. We need to stop and think. We need to engage professionals that can help us lay out the structure even now that can help us lay out the structure of what our tax is going to look like. And what that means is this. If you have an LLC, if you have an S Corp, if you have a C Corp, if you have some structure, then you need a trust. Whatever the case may be, you need to lay out where all of those expenses get dispersed. You need to look at the advantages that you have. You need to decide, do I want to take that? What is my plan for 2017? Am I buying that piece of property? Do I need to do a full documentation loan for that mortgage if I'm going to get a mortgage on that property? And you know I'm going to advocate a mortgage because I want you to keep that cash free to move to the next deal. So when you look at it from that perspective, what you've got to do is you've got to figure out how am I going to use my expenses wisely? I may need to have the highest income possible to qualify for that loan. So I may not take all of those tax deductions in tw for 2016. I may decide that I am going to spread them out. Because what I need right now is I need for my adjusted gross income to be high. And I'm willing to sacrifice for what the future has to hold. Because by the end of this year, by the end of this year, we are going to have testimony from this group, from this community, that prophecy that and prophecy what is that that is history written in advance we are writing the history in advance for our legacies so that means that we will have ownership we will either have people that are first time home buyers we will have people that are first time investors
We will have people that are first time investors for commercial property. But at the end of this year, we are going to post testimony that we have reached our goal. Now I tell you what, we're not gonna put it all out there, uh, what we got individually, but we're going to put it out there that we have, we have developed that legacy arm and it includes real estate. So now, when do I file? I'm submitting to you that you're looking around the middle of February to the beginning of March because you know then the first, the phase ones, those are generally the individuals that either have no deductions to write off, very limited deductions, they're doing the easy form, or they're not willing to spend the money to interview individuals that can give them what they need, that can lay out the plan. Now, we are late on this one. This should have happened between October and December. Now what you have is your tax professionals, your tax preparers, your tax accountants, your tax attorneys are all sending notice that they're ready to start business. I got mine last week. They're ready to start business. It's tough right now to get an interview with a tax preparer, with an EA, with an EI, with any of the designations. It's tough because they are gearing up to prepare, they're gearing up for those tax clients that are coming in right in the door, those tax customers. See, tax customers are typically individuals that do not have any businesses. They're not entrepreneurs, they're not small business owners. So they're rushing in to grab their dog. They're rushing in for that tax return. They're depending on that tax return. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a real talk. So I am not going to be ashamed or be in a bash it. I am unapologetic on this one. Those are the folks that are rushing in. What I'm hoping will happen is this year, they'll take that tax return and they'll listen to our community. And you know what they'll do? They'll actually take an action so that come 2017 return, they have assets. I want to give you a great example. <laughs> if I say back in the day, I'm really going to start divulging age <laughs> and all that goes with it. Okay, don't laugh. <laughs> I got to laugh myself on that one. But for the sake of this conversation, I'm willing to go there. There was a time in the city of Boston, a community, a town by the name of Roxbury, Roxbury, Massachusetts. No one wanted to live there. And I will tell you, I pleaded with people to purchase property. I mean, when I say pleaded, I'm talking pleaded. If I had known about Facebook back then, I would have been on Facebook talking about it. But for those that know about Roxbury, we considered it the hood. Nobody wanted to live there. Guess what's happening today? Property, land. I have heard of landmass 30,000 square feet selling for one point. Five million dollars, nothing on it. Land, ladies and gentlemen, land that I can remember people like my grandmother buying a 5,000 square lot for a thousand. No, what are you talking about? A thousand dollars. They could buy it for a hundred dollars. They had cardiac arrest when it went up to a thousand dollars. So now take a look at it. Thirty thousand dollars is now 1.5 million dollars. That's what I'm talking about. So when I say planning things out, when I say taking the money to pay for the professional that will help you so that you can amass the funds to take advantage of opportunities, that's what I'm talking about. So you don't want to be in the fray of people that are rushing in. Let me get my tax return done. And the tax preparer is moving through it. The tax preparer is using the electronics. They're not even necessarily thinking about offering. They're not upselling services that you need. The fray comes down about the third quarter, about the third week of February. About the fourth week of February, the tax preparers, the tax offices are actually able to breathe a little bit. And so that's why I say at that point, you are likely to get an interview 
you're likely to get an interview with someone to talk to them about what services not only do they provide, what services you need or want. So what services do you need or want? You want a tax preparer. You want a tax accountant. I'm going to submit that you want a tax accountant. You want an EA. You want an EI. You want a high ranking individual, possibly a tax accountant, maybe a tax. I wouldn't say a tax attorney, but you want a tax attorney in your arsenal. But you want somebody that's high ranking in their tax capability. You want somebody that specializes in entrepreneurship. Remember the book you got last week? Robin to Neil, I want to thank you so much for having put a picture in, the, in, in our feed. Go back to last week's show. Look in last week's feed. Get the book, 475 Deductions for Entrepreneurs in the Self-Employed. That's, ladies and gentlemen, what we're talking about. So you want the person that specializes in this. The difference can be monumental. Let me give you another quick example. My mom, lovely lady, 80 years old, property manager, among other activities, business owner, property manager, entrepreneur. Her tax account, tax preparer uh, in EA was out of the out of town, was actually ill, come to think of it. And he was going to be down and under for about three months. She brought her tax returns, paperwork, to the individual that was referred to her. He was not at the rank that the person she typically goes to was at. The end result, she got a bill for $18,000. IRS said she owed 18 grand. Do you know what that does to an 80 year old woman? That could cause that woman to have a heart attack. I said, I am gonna go and get, get that paperwork back. This is unacceptable. This is impossible for you to owe this kind of money. And that's because he was moving that paperwork. He wasn't the person that she typically goes to that knows her history, that has everything laid out. Critical mass. We now need to plan. Vince, progress. You know what that middle word is. So I want to stress to you that one, from a timeline perspective, you're in phase two and phase three. You're gonna get your tax returns done by April 15th. If you're not, you're going to uh, turn around and get an, an amend and move that to August 15th, but you're gonna get it done. Either way, what I want you to do is get yourself in a structure that will get you the best that you need to get. Because some of those return funds, if in fact you're getting return funds, we're going to be putting into, we're going to set up trusts. We're going to set up corporations because we're going to start living in a different format. We are going to live as wealthy people that are passing it on generation to generation, legacy to legacy. That's what we are teaching ourselves and teaching our children to do. Right now, I talked about the win for the taxes. Next week and the week after, I'll be talking about a lot of the whys. But I want you to embrace the language that I've shared with you right now. Short show, I got it. Take this information now. Start looking at who are people. Start asking for referrals of who is your tax preparer. What history do they have? It is imperative. And even if you are not an entrepreneur right now, you are an aspiring or budding entrepreneur, you still want somebody that clearly understands that, somebody that's edgy, somebody that's going to protect your interests, but they are not conservative because this is your life. Saving our money. Taxes is the very first thing. What do the rich talk about? What do you hear Congress talking about? Taxes, taxes, taxes. There's a reason for that. We need to know the reasons. Get the book, 475 Tax Deductions. When you read that as a manual, when you read that as a book, instead of going to the back and getting definitions, but you read it, you will understand wholly what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay, Pamela, what nugget did you get out of this morning? Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. 
Oh my goodness. First of all, we have a lot of viewers over here on our Facebook Live. So it's so cool. We've had so far up to six people live. And actually someone jumped on and they had asked me who who was our book and um who what was the name of the book? Who was our author? And someone had asked EA. I'll drop that in the feed. I'll drop a few of those uh, definitions in the Perfect. feed. For sure. Perfect. I will um, I will answer you, but I want to just let acknowledge everybody. Thank you for joining us. I have on here the join us was Chakan, Tamara Green. Tamara Green had jumped on. And then I have, and I'm going to, sorry, I will botch up the name. I am not good at pronunciation, so I will try this. Zaka. Um, he is on. He asked me who what was who was the author of our book. The author of the book is Bernard. Actually, I have the book. The author of the book yes. is Bernard <laughs> Cam Cam or off K A M O R O F F. So I have that here. Up here, a Shan uh, Shanice Styles and. Debbie Johnson. So our community is growing. Just want to let everybody know you are. Thank you for joining Wealth Warriors Live, live from Mass Boston, Massachusetts, and here in Columbus, Ohio. You will start seeing us live every week. Awesome. So we our topic today was taxes. Now I'm going to be honest with you, Brent. I am one of the late late people that file because I'm a well, Okay, what did I do up until December the 31st that I can file my taxes on? So luckily enough, I'm always thinking, and I go through my appointment books. I go through trying to think about what did I do at the last minute. That's why I file lately, because I'm not trying to give nobody no money. That, that, that's myself. not there. That goes, it's better served in your household, yes? Exactly. So that's why I do it. So awesome. then, so one thing I have to say, first and foremost, I would say everybody, you need to get the book. It's 475 ways of you can tax write up business tax deductions. It is essential. Two, the other nugget that I got out of it is get a tax advisor. I have one and I love it. I love the sorry. I love it. I have over here talking and talking here, so I'm gonna have to get my bearings here. Um, two we is get a, a we tax minutes. advisor. We got okay. two and a tax advisor. So don't do the taxes yourself. Get you a tax advisor. So what I will do is um, I'm gonna turn it back over to Brent because today is our short show. Um, and where you can get the book, I got it on Amazon for like I think eleven dollars. One question was asked, where do we get the book from? You can get it from Amazon for eleven bucks. So I'm gonna pass it back over to um. And so we can close out the show, but I will keep answering questions as, as once we close out here. Fantastic. Appreciate that. And welcome our new audience. We're going to really expand the audience. And I am so glad that you brought that up. I also see that Deb Vars, who is our viewing coordinator, has also chimed in and made a comment. Terrific. Thank you so much. Here are the quick announcements. Everyone, everyone, start come the first week of February. We will have tickets on sale for E3 Power Up 2017. The theme of 2017 is economic justice. And what we want to have happen is we want people to hashtag dictate my destiny that's what the hashtag is dictate my destiny we are dictating our destiny so come the second week in february we will have e3 power up tickets available for purchase the event is in april it is april 29th and it will be in the great state of Massachusetts, city of Boston. We're at, we are very enthusiastic about that. We have people returning. Pamela Stone will be with us. Dr. Letitia Wright will be with us. Dr. Nancy Zare with, will be with us. And we will have a crowd. Those are just to name a few. Each week, I'll be sharing with you tidbits about what you can anticipate and expect. Our website uh, will be going up. Brent S. Harding will be going up the first week of February. So excited about that.
We are looking for ambassadors, and I want to share with you one of our own. Robin Tanil is an ambassador for E3 Power Up. We're looking for 10 more ambassadors who will serve in various roles from uh, coordinating in our room during the day of the event to serving on the desk with, res uh, with registration to sitting at the various tables to answer any questions to assist you. We will have them doing live showings of various parts of the event. So they will be our cameras. They will be our boots on the ground, so to speak. And we are so excited about that. I want to welcome Robin officially as one of our ambassadors. We have a few more that are interested. We are looking to have you come and be a part of what is going to be an absolutely thrilling and amazing event. With that being said, I want to thank my co-host, of course, Pamela Stone, for being on today's broadcast. I want to once again acknowledge our very first, our early risers, Robin Tennille, Deborah Vars, excuse me, rephrase that, Debbie Vars, Ron Bell, and I want to also welcome a new member to the Wealth Warrior community. That is Charles Lee Hailing out of Boston, Massachusetts. Pamela, you want to give one last before we get off the air? I do. Again, I want to welcome everybody to our new live broadcast um, and come back and join us next time, next Saturday, same time, same place. And I want everyone to go out here and be you and enjoy today and make today your, as if today was your only day. Live it to the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. And as I like to say, go out and be absolutely extraordinary. We'll see you next week. Bye now.